Okay, we stopped um, in the last video at this point where we had uh, solved for our proportionality constant and we went ahead and we stored it in X so that we could use that later on. So now let me go back to um, our notes where we were writing those out. So here we were, we had um, this problem. I know it's not centered very nicely, but that's okay because I'm going to move this up. We found out um, our proportionality constant so we can use it now later on. For our question that we're going to be answering, it says what what will it read? So remember this thermometer started out at 7 degrees Celsius. It was brought into a room uh, with a constant temperature of, let me bring that up a little bit better. It was brought into a room with a constant temperature of 38 degrees Celsius. So we used the information about it being 16 degrees Celsius after four minutes to help us solve for our proportionality constant. Now we need to do the real question. What will it read after being in the room for six minutes and then for 11 minutes? Okay, well back to our formula for um, Newton's law of cooling. It says that um, mu will equal capital T plus mu naught minus capital T e to the kt. Now, if you need to go back and review the last video, please do so because this one's not going to make much sense until you watch that one first. Okay, well, in this case, we're trying to figure out what this temperature will be. We know that our, our room temperature here is 38 degrees. We also know that our initial temperature of the thermometer was 7 minus 38 for the ambient temperature. E to the we stored our K value in X and we're trying to find out what happens after six minutes. So here we have our uh, problem completely done out. Now if you'd like to clean it up just a little bit, this would be 38 plus uh, 7 minus 38 would be negative 31 e to the 6x power. Now we can put this in our calculator as is, because remember we have stored in X this value right here. So when you do that on your calculator, you should get, um, if we just round to the nearest whole degree, that should be 19 degrees Celsius, which makes logical sense. If it starts out at 7 degrees, we would expect after 6 minutes for it to be warmer. So 19 degrees Celsius is, is logical. Now we want to find out what happens after 11 minutes, so it's a little bit more time has passed. Well again, we're using our same formula. The only thing we're changing here is instead of 6 minutes, we want to know what happens after 11 minutes. So that will change our formula to 38 plus the negative 31 e to the 11x power. Now put that in on our calculator and you should get, if we round to the nearest whole degree, 26 degrees Celsius. So again, that does make logical sense. If we start off at 7 degrees Celsius, we should be gradually moving up as, as time goes by. Now another question that you might want to ask yourself is, is there a maximum temperature that this could reach? And that is yes. If the room that the thermometer's in is 38 degrees, then that's the maximum temperature that that thermometer could ever hope to reach. It can't get hotter than the room that it's in. Okay.